because you get this pattern over and over again. Mathematicians like, hey, this is interesting. We're going to give this pattern a name. Things in, not just mathematics, but in all the world, in every kind of area of study. Things get names when we see, hey, there's something interesting here. I want to be able to describe it to someone else, right? And it's something I've never seen before, okay? So this ratio, in these sides between the shortest and the longest sides for these guys, the particular ratio we're looking at is called sine. Now, remember I said to you, mystery, mystery number one, mystery number one, was that um, was why I knew these ratios would be what they are. Okay, and the reason for why they are is because you're forcing your un you unintentionally creating these similar shapes. Okay, mystery number two is why is this ratio called sine? I will explain by the end of the lesson. Okay, and you'll need to help me again. See how we go. Now. To be a little more specific, I um, said shortest and longest sides, but there's actually something else going on. You guys just did your work on, just very recently, on Pythagoras, right? And most of you are still going through that. In a right angle triangle, what's the longest side called? It has a special name, right? It's called the hypotenuse, okay? So rather than saying shortest and longest, because that actually really disguises what's going on, sine of an angle, right, like 30 degrees, that's the angle you were looking at. What it is, is a ratio, all of these things are ratios between two sides. The shortest and the longest one in our context are, well, the longest one is the hypotenuse. And then when you have a look at your triangles, right, I've pinched them back for you, I'm going to give them back in a second. When you have a look at your triangles, and maybe it's worth just drawing one beside where you've got this, because um, that'll be useful. You got your right angle there. You've got the 30 degrees. We've already called this guy the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse over here. The shortest side has to be the one in this case. It has to be one the one that's opposite. Do you see that? Um, this side here, it corresponds to this um, bigger angle. So it has to be bigger as well. So this is the opposite side over here. So we're giving names to these things so we can explain what their relationships are. So just to do with sine, like we're, and again, I'll explain this ratio's name in a minute. It's the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse, which is the longest one. Okay, so this is ringing some bells, right? Last year, we explored these things. And by the way, mathematicians, lazy. So we're like, yeah, I can make this 25% faster to write. So they abbreviated <laughs> to that. Good job, guys. Um, <laughs> This ratio, sine, right, is opposite of hypotenuse, but there are other ratios too. You didn't have to compare this pair of sides. There's two other pairs you can have in your triangle, right? But I need a name for this other side. This one down here? So this side here is right next to the angle you're after. It's right next to the 30 degrees, okay? So right next to, we use the word adjacent. Sine is relating, is giving me the ratio of these two sides, right? But I can talk about the other ratios of sides, and they should do the same thing. They should have the same pattern. You can measure these out again if you're really interested, right? We say, if instead of the opposite side and the hypotenuse, I want to compare the adjacent side, the one next to me, right? So this is like the middle length side and the hypotenuse. We call this ratio, rather than sine, we call it cos. cosine, right? And again, um, because we want to abbreviate, we call it cos. Um, it relates to an angle. Cos. We call it cos, cosine. And it has to be attached to like, which angle are you interested in, right? Because if you said like cosine, right? And I said, well, that's adjacent or hypotenuse. You'd say adjacent to what? Like, which angle are you talking about, okay? So there has to be an angle in there. I've got the opposite of the hypotenuse. I've got the adjacent of the hypotenuse. There's one more pair I'm missing. Okay, so there's the opposite side and the adjacent side. If you leave out the longest one, the hypotenuse, okay? And we call this guy tangent, which we abbreviate to 10. Okay, so now you're like, wait, really? All of that, just to explain, and if you want your heading now, what we've been doing is we've been measuring, measuring, measuring like metric system. We've been measuring triangles. That's all trigonometry means. Okay? But what trigonometry is getting at 
is this mystery that if you get angles, you'll know this relationship between the sides. Okay? You get this pattern. So can you see you've got sine opposite of the hypotenuse, cosine adjacent of the hypotenuse, and tan, which is opposite on adjacent. So we have an acronym to remember this. I don't know if you've seen it written like this before. Oh, yeah. um, so so you have cocaine after having tons of alcohol. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lee. Mr. Yeah, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Students often have cocaine after having tons of alcohol. Sorry. That's what we're going to yeah, yeah, that was good, good times. It worked, <laughs> evidently. Okay. So what I've got here is I'm giving these ratios. This is what this is about, ratios. Okay. I'm giving them names, and this is just a mnemonic device to remember which ratios and which names match up together. Okay. So I say that as socket toe. You don't need to worry about this too much because you get given a lot of this on your formula data sheet, but it's still nice to actually have it up here rather than have to go searching for it somewhere. Okay. All right, now, here comes the fun bit. Remember I said to you, mystery number one, how did I know what was going on here? And the answer was similar shapes. You made similar traits, shapes almost by accident, okay? Mystery number two was, uh, why is this called what it is? What does that have to do with anything? What does that even mean? So to help you understand what's going on, um, I'm going to get you to help me by getting your calculators out. Can you give me a calculator? Now, you can see, I've just got a bunch of dots. Okay, oh, black and okay. Now, clearly we've missed out a whole bunch of angles. We went every 15. We could have gone every 10 and done, done more numbers, okay? But if I join the dots now, and now I'd like you to do the same, okay? Um, you can draw this thing out. You're getting this shape, okay? You're getting this shape. Now, this is weird. This is really weird. We started with these guys. Triangles, right? These are the simplest like shapes with straight lines you can imagine. Straight lines, that's what they're all about. That's why you had to have rules when you're constructing these things, right? But out of that, I've noticed this pattern of ratios, and I'm trying to say, well, what happens with other angles? Okay? And when I do that, I get this shape, which is quite unmistakably curved. It's not straight at all. Okay? Now the Latin word for curve is sinus. Oh, in, fact, circle, in fact, you all have a sinus in you. Does anyone know where your sinus yeah, is? Yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Because in your, in your nasal passage, there is a part of it that is curved. Okay, and that's your sinus, right? I, I have a lot of sinuses too. It's not the stuff. Right? And so, when Matt Vision looked at this shape, that shape over there, you don't need to understand it so much as see it. And notice that Matt Vision is like, that's weird. I started with straight things, and by understanding this relation, this ratio, just like mapping it out, I got a curved thing. They said, that's weird, let's call it a curve. That's all sinus means, okay? Now, I want to explain then what these guys are about. Remember I said, we say cos, because it's short, and your calculator says cos, because it fits on the button. But cosine is actually an abbreviation. It's an abbreviation. Uh, where you wrote cosine, I'd like you to write out here. What's an abbreviation for is, what it's an abbreviation for is, the complement of sine. Now, remember, we had a look over here. We said sine 30, sine 30 degrees rather, it's always 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. There are differences here, but all these discrepancies are discrepancies of measurement. Like as in, I couldn't quite get the angle perfectly, um, or when I measured out my ruler has limits of accuracy and so on, right? But really, as you can see on your calculator, if you punch in sine 30 degrees, it will faithfully give you back a half. If there were some kind of perfect triangle, that's what the ratio would be, okay? 